Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, batch render an animation. Um, I got this question uh, a couple of times so uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to keep the scene very very easy and very simple. Uh, so uh, let's get started with that. Okay, so first I'm going to go up to File, New Scene. Don't save any of that. And I want to go to my project window. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'll just do new here. I'm going to do a project called batch render tutorial. And uh, I'm going to save that. All right. And now I'm going to set up a, a very simple uh, animated scene. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a polygon cube here. Just going to pull that up, hit 5 for shaded mode. I'm going to create 100 frames for my animation, like that. And while I'm on position number 1, I'm going to hit S to keyframe that. You've got this little red line here, okay. And then I'm going to move to, let's say, frame 90. So I'm going to click here, click on my object. I'm going to pull it over here and I'm gonna tilt it somewhat like that and I'm gonna hit S again to set up a keyframe there. So now if we play our animation you'll see that the cube is moving and rotating. Okay, very very simple, right? Now let's say that we're done with our animation and we want to batch render this. Okay, I'll just go back here. Before anything else, make sure you save your scene for a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, sometimes if you don't save your scene, you're going to have uh, trouble with your batch render. Second, if something goes wrong and your system crashes, you lost your scene. Okay, so file, save scene. Okay, batch render tutorial and save. There we go. Next, we're going to go up to our render settings up here, and we're going to tweak a couple of things here. Okay, so first of all, uh, when you output your batch render, uh, there are a couple of ways of doing that. You can do that into a single, let's say, movie file, but that's tricky because if something goes wrong, you have to start all over again. So what I prefer to do is uh, have the render output in individual JPEG images, okay? So uh, here in image format, I'm going to go with a uh, JPEG. Uh, the prefix, so what you want your files to be called, I'll just call them BRT for batch render tutorial, okay? And now uh, it's pretty important to set this up correctly. What we want is we want um, all the files to be named, numbered, and have the right extension, okay? So in this case, this would be brt1.jpg, brt2, 3, 4, 5, etc. okay? So that's what I'm going to go for. Now, um, I want to start my batch render at frame 1, and I want it to end at frame 90, and I want each individual frame to be rendered, okay? So that's on one. Uh, I can uh, set up the quality here, you know, so what image size do I want? Uh, I can uh, tweak that here. I can tweak the resolution, but that is um, up to you, of course. So I got that all set up. All right. So I'm just going to minimize this here. Now I'm going to go up to my uh, rendering tab here. I'm going to go up to render. I'm going to go down to batch render and I'm going to click on the option box. Okay. Not a lot going on there. Um, you can just set up, you know, that you want to use all your available CPUs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on batch render. Okay. Now, if you look down here, it says rendering with Maya software. Now it's going to calculate for a bit. And it usually takes, you know, depending on your scene and uh, some time. And as you can see really fast right now, it's processing the render details. Okay. That shouldn't take too long. So we'll just uh, hang on for that. All right. So it says rendering completed. Now, if I click on this little uh, icon here, 
I'll just admit, oh, there you go. This is your log file, okay? So what it says is it's been rendering images all the way down, right? And in this order, okay? So you see the numbering, you see JPEG and so forth, okay? So when you get all these files, what you do next is, uh, and I'll just show you that he actually created these files, right? I'll just uh, quickly look that up. There we go. Uh, projects, batch render tutorial, images. These are the images that he created up to 90. So image number one to image number 90, okay? Now what you can do is you can open uh, a program like uh, Windows Movie Maker and then you add files. So you add all these files, right? And then you stitch them together and then you have your movie clip. That's all there's to it. So uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.